I'm Professor Ogugua Charles Sawa, three times head of the Department of Food Technology, University of Ibadan. I'm a fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Food Science and Technology and the International Academy of Food Science and Technology. I have just seen a video that is trending in the social media depicting a woman washing semolina, semovita under running water and washing the product so profusely that she actually removed all the starch and other water soluble components of the product and was left with a rubbery elastic material which she now referred to as plastic that had been added to the product in order to adulterate it. What she actually had is a natural product, a natural component of wheat, which is gluten. It is a protein. And it's only wheat and rye that has this unique protein that we call gluten. Indeed, it is gluten that causes the loaf to rise and gives um, wheat its unique bread making properties. So the material that the lady has, and she erroneously called plastic, is a natural product called gluten. It is a protein. Indeed, it is made up of two proteins, glutenin and gliadin, which when they combine, they form a viscoelastic material, which is what she has. So anybody that does what she has done will get the same result. You will end up with this elastic material, but it is not plastic. It is a natural product. Indeed, proteins may take all sorts of forms. There is, for example, gelatin, which is a protein from animal sources that is made from collagen. Gelatin, when moist, is actually gummy. So the general populace will need to be educated that what she has is actually a protein, a natural product, and it's not anything synthetic. So, semolina, semovita does not contain unnatural plastic material. What is there is a natural protein which is referred to as a gluten.